Welcome back. Our next presenters just took DNA tests and they are 100% that award-winning actor and 100% that founder and CEO. Please welcome founder of 23andMe and the Breakthrough Prize, Anne Wojcicki and Edward Norton. Science shows us hidden worlds and what is more hidden than the human mind. A big part of being an actor or a filmmaker is to work to understand character, motivation, our warring wants and needs. And scientists who study the brain are in a very different way on the same quest. I started 23andMe because I was fascinated by what our genes can tell us about ourselves. So much about where we come from, who we are, and even where we're headed. The more we learn about DNA, the clearer it becomes just how much our DNA influences who we are. That doesn't mean we can't change, but when we find it hard to change, we should sometimes realize that things are beyond our control. Our next laureate discovered the gene that drives some of our most basic appetites. Where do our appetites come from? Jeffrey Friedman had a hunch about how genes control hunger. It had been well known for decades that a single gene could control weight and behavior. What wasn't known was the identity of the gene. The discovery of leptin really did change my life and allowed me to live and pursue all my goals and dreams that I had wanted for myself. At around the age of four, I was the average weight of a grown adult woman. It was around this time as well that Dr. Gibson in British Columbia and Dr. Friedman were doing research on this same issue and that was the first time in my life that someone could actually connect my symptoms to a real disorder. There was one single experiment we did that told me not only that we had identified the gene, but that the gene was likely to encode a hormone that regulated appetite. We'd been working on this for eight years, and I never imagined this day would come. I developed this film at about three in the morning. I held it up to the light like this, and I sort of realized what I was seeing and it was just euphoric. I was admitted into the hospital and I started a trial of injections. Uh, within six months of using those injections, I lost around 70 pounds, almost half my body weight. I think many people uh, look at the obese and, and view it as a lack of discipline or a personal failing. I don't think it is. I think each of us have our own individual biology that's instructed by the particular genes we inherit. And we now know that genetic differences account for differences in weight. I think that research like Dr. Friedman did is hopefully going to change the way society looks at people and make society more tolerant and understanding as opposed to judgmental. Dystrophy is a disease that affects the body's ability to produce healthy fat. We have with us tonight a very brave woman who can tell us what it's like to battle lipodystrophy and what the discovery of leptin did for her. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alyssa Wisdom. Growing up, I was a very sick child and spent most of my life in doctor's offices. It started out as early signs of diabetes, which my rock star mother, who's an RN, noticed and spiraled into high cholesterol, high blood pressure, the works. I had the blood panel of a morbidly obese alcoholic, despite doing sports since I was four years old. No one really knew why I was sick. Um, some people even thought I was causing it myself. But what they did know is that I was getting worse. So they kept throwing pills at me to treat the symptoms, 13 to be exact, that I took every day. During college, I learned that I had an extremely rare condition called congenital generalized lipodystrophy, which was causing most of my symptoms. 
and that there was no cure for it. By the time I was nearing graduation, my heart had nearly stopped a few times, my liver was shutting down. I didn't think I was going to make it through to see my Stanford graduation, to see the rest of my 20s, to experience this adulting thing that everyone had talked so much about. But then I found leptin, or rather Dr. Jeffrey Friedman did. And since then, my liver has returned to normal, my heart is functioning fine, and I'm finally getting to experience this adulting thing, which, let me tell you, is a more overrated than I thought. <laughs> so thank you, Dr. Friedman, for your discovery that literally saved my life and the lives of many across the globe. I wouldn't be here without you, and I'm forever grateful to you for giving me the opportunity to live. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alyssa. Now for the discovery of a new endocrine system through which fat signals the brain to regulate food intake. The Breakthrough Prize in Life Sciences is awarded to Jeffrey Friedman. Jeffrey Friedman's discovery of leptin made the front cover of the journal Nature. He has copies signed by Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier, Lionel Messi, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and many, many more. Well, Melissa just said so much more than I could possibly say. I mean, who gets a moment like, uh, like that? Thank you. I'm glad we're here together. <laughs> um, Growing up on Long Island, attending public schools, I didn't know enough to dream of the life I now lead, a life spent learning new things. Our discovery of leptin provided an alternative to the view that obesity is a personal failing and a new treatment for seriously ill patients. Like so many Amer in America, my grandparents were immigrants who came seeking opportunity, and it makes me so happy to think of how proud they would be tonight. But I'm grateful that I get to share this occasion with my wife and two daughters who are here tonight. Thank you all so much.